on Nigeria, our politicians are going crazy. Imagine governors so obsessed with Big Brother that they are not giving money to supporters of the contestants of their choice. I was like, Father, as in how? How did we get here? These people have not fixed our roads. They didn't build us good hospitals. But they are so fascinated with Big Brother so much that they are giving fans millions of naira. Father, what is wrong with you? Did I send you out? Ladies and gentlemen, I beg, don't mind calling the whole because fire or she did not give money to Big Brother friends. So, no, the man only decided that being a governor is too much work, and so now he decided to do something that he's very comfortable with, which is becoming a DJ. You can find Governor Ayo Fire Oshie at birthday parties and weddings in Ekiti State. Hit me one time, Daddy, Mr. Governor. Hey! You see, this is what I say is comfortable doing. I don't know why people are forcing this man to be governor. Just let him be a DJ. Yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, a Nigerian senator has been suspended for six months. I'm sure you must have heard. Senator Undume. Apparently, he was suspended for calling for the investigation of the Senate President Bukola Saraki and that of Senator Dino Melaye. As you guys know, after reports of Dino Melaye's uh, fake seven degrees. I have seven degrees. Shut up. Uh, not you. What is wrong with you? So, after the man said he has a uh, seven degrees, uh, Undume called for Dino's investigation. You know, he said they should investigate that this man did not finish school. Whether diploma, whether degree, whether PhD is certificated for, you are an alumni. You are a graduate of that institution. You know, if I say God should punish you, what is your problem with uh, Dino Melai? By the way, what is the alumni? You are an alumni. <laughs> an alumnus because it's just one of him no be so <laughs> alumni would be many graduates so <laughs> but he said alumni i'm telling you the man did not finish school he's very obvious. anyway so who do we call for the investigation of uh, the alumnus of dino melaye <laughs> why they suspended him second of all he called for the investigation of the senate president bukola saraki for not paying customs when he imported his 370 million naira bulletproof range rover i think i need some water the way these people spend our money on cars you would think this is what they were elected or selected or appointed to do why 370 million naira on one car on one vehicle and why does he need a bulletproof vehicle by the way is somebody trying to kill Bukola Saraki or is this a uh, bulletproof car just a way of showing off hey hey for that the judgment day must to come sooner for that say you see say you see these people will spend all our money on cars if you don't come sooner so this is what these people do at the senate with all the exotic cars that he already has it's not enough another 370 million allegedly well don't let anybody quote me allegedly allegedly actually the Senate has admitted that they paid for the vehicle, 370 million dollars. Anyway, not only did he not pay customs, but he also allegedly forged the duty payment document and the end user certificate so that it would look like he actually paid but he did not pay. You would think with all the money that Saraki has stolen both from the people of Kwara State and as the Senate President, you know that him and his aides have allegedly laundered more than 3.5 billion naira, billion, I mean, still, can you imagine he's forging customs documents? Ah, what a shame, what a shame. I guess now nobody is supposed to say anything <laughs> when they see all this at it is going on because after blowing whistles undume was suspended from the senate for six months i mean it's not even legal because that means his constituency would not be represented at the senate for six months is that even legal i can't believe that um i'm hearing that some people are going to see saraki they are going to beg him so that he wouldn't state uh, undume and i'm like for that for that all of them they are all criminals meanwhile they've cleared Dino Melaye and uh, Saraki of all allegations. The sad thing is now my uncle thinks that a certificate is the same thing as a degree. Did you graduate from Harvard? Anyway, like you mentioned, you said you have seven degrees altogether. Even a mechanic, a plumber, who undergoes apprenticeship, is certificated for. Ah! Where, 
did you have a certificate course in Harvard or you had a degree course in Harvard? I believe in investigative um, um, journalism, and I'm not going to be ridiculed on the on on, on, on the platform of a television station. So it's not a question and answer series. Whatever I have is mine. You know he didn't answer that question. All I know is Dino has been cleared. Bukola Salaki has also been cleared, but the whistleblower has been suspended. Honestly, if there's ever a place where God should have brought down meningitis as a punishment, it should have been at the Nigerian Senate. Do I get an amen, somebody? Amen. Amen. Hey, amen. Did you guys see what activists did to a lawmaker in Ukraine because of corruption? <laughs> they threw the man in a dumpster by the way that was in 2014 and it wasn't just him at least 12 corrupt lawmakers were picked up by activists in ukraine and thrown into dumpsters oh father if only you will open the eyes of nigerians especially the young people we don't know the power that we have politicians are not to be worshipped they are supposed to serve the people be accountable to us and represent us and if they are representing their own interest instead of the people we should be able to throw them in the dumpster amen somebody amen. Uh -huh. amen you know imagine if these people are afraid of nigerians ah for that they would fix our roads hey, hey. they will pay our salaries on time and the pensioners will get paid as well they will fix our electricity they will stop stealing our money not be so and now while some of us keep defending them a 23 year old boy was recently sentenced to death by hanging for stealing a smartphone <clears throat> So, I'm not sure that you get it. These people steal billions and even trillions of naira and they get away with it. Some of them are riding 375 million naira bulletproof Range Rover. You think they took that from their salary? Of course not. But when a young person whose father is not a politician steals a cell phone, they want him hanged. How bad? That is not correct. Justice Chizoba Oji of Apple I Court in Abuja sentenced Tokwe Abiodun to death by hanging. Can you imagine? The guy was jailed at the age of 18. Now he's 23. So he's already been in prison for five years. Because of a cell phone, apparently the boy was the one feeding his younger siblings. He said that was why he stole the phone. I'm not saying that what he did was right. You shouldn't steal. But so long as the real thieves in Nigeria are getting billed, Nigerians, this boy must not be killed. Not on your watch. I just told you the name of the judge. Write or tweet the chief justice about this. If you are close to the president or the vice president or any governor, send them an email or a tweet or give them a phone call. That a top man must not be killed for stealing a cell phone when Bukola Saraki, with all the money that he has allegedly stolen, is presiding over the Senate. When nothing happened to Andrew Yakubu, remember? The man that EFCC found $9.8 million cash, cash, in his home in a Kaduna. In fact, Andrew Yakubu is now asking EFCC to return his money. Now the money is his money because they found it in his house. This boy will die if we don't say anything, if we don't do anything. We must not let them do this. So please, after watching this episode, call somebody, write somebody, send out a tweet or something. Put pressure on these people so that this boy will not be killed. You guys know I don't know much. Guess what? I'm just keeping it real. <laughs>